Working out of an empty side pick and roll, watch the hang time John ja Morant gets on this take to the basket. For most players, it takes at least 10 to 20 games to gain that kind of elevation, but Morant is in midseason form already, as the clips you're currently watching are all from this year's preseason. Other than Giannis, Morant's the best slasher in the game today, Ja's ability to create downhill momentum and then simply outjump anyone contesting him with ambidextrous finishing has been paired with improving physical strength to fend off rim protectors. Scary part is, defenders have to account for a respectable deep range shot. In last year's first round against Minnesota, despite struggling with his efficiency, Ja Morant averaged a team high 21.5 points and 11.5 dimes over six outings. In that series W, the 6'3", 170-pound point guard also led Memphis in rebounding with 8.7 boards per game. Before suffering a bone bruise in his right knee against Golden State in the second round, Morant posted 115 points over just three outings, an average of 38.5 per night on a stellar true shooting mark of 62.3%. 2022 saw the face of Memphis add an all-star and all-NBA team appearance to his resume, plus take home the Most Improved Player of the Year award. Outside of Stephen Curry and LeBron James, John ja Morant was 2022's most viewed player on the NBA's socials. At the same time, Morant's got an entire community of doubters who call him out for everything. But Ja's acknowledgement that hate comes with the territory is a realization that many number one options struggle to come to. It's not merely Ja's consistency between the four lines that define him, it's how the man carries himself off the court with a sense of conviction that translates over to when it matters most. As tough as it is for naysayers to believe after Morant rubs in one of his dunks or and ones, or does the gritty on their logos, he's extremely appreciative and humbled by the opportunity he's fought for and received in the association. This video looks at the most insane plays 12 has pulled off in just four exhibition games, and why it's freaky that he's already doing this. Right before that, help the channel reach 100k by subscribing, leave a like on this video to help it spread to more people, and support the development of this platform even further by following the channel on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops. Thank you for any bit of support. We'll get right to his naturally gifted athleticism, but the best part about Morant is how he's capable of playing off his instincts. He doesn't overthink anything, which shows up in every aspect of his game, one of which being on defense, where Jaws' instinctiveness allows him to blitz passing lanes, trap defenders in the pick and roll, or shock them with denials. The lack of hesitation also lets his mix of speed and hops take over in the open court. That transition game shows up on plays like this, where he out-hustles a player twice his size for the rebound, pushes the pace, and crosses up Cole Anthony to his right, finishing at the bucket with his left. An improving defender, here he welcomes Jaden Ivey to the NBA, staying back to bait him into the look, before timing his jump for the stuff and leaking out for the jam. Lost in the shuffle because he's so insanely springy is Morant's craftiness to separate himself from his matchup and hit off-balanced runners. Another under-talked about factor in his slashing repertoire is the creative footwork he uses to gather as much momentum as possible, downhill force, which can be created when either working on or off the ball. If defenders press up, Morant's going to drop it off and cut back door, or blow past you off the dribble. In terms of his passing chops, watch the creativeness right here to pull off a Rajon Rondo pass fake before actually going behind the back for the dime. Nasty stuff. Next, he draws Bogdanovich to the paint with a momentum cross before fluidly stopping on a dime and throwing a lob to the cutting Brandon Clark all in one motion. Watch how Ja considers dropping it off to about all four of his teammates right here, utilizing half in and out dribbles before dropping a slick one-handed shuffle pass to Brooks for the trailer three. Whether it's gravity drawing dimes like that one, or quarterback outlets which show off his range, this preseason has put Morant's criminally undervalued playmaking on full display. Here, Jalen Suggs knocks it away from Bain, and after Ja scoops it up, Watch how Morant's eye contact and one dribble gets Mo Bamba to rotate off Aldama, and Ja just lobs it up, a beautiful no-looker. Here he finds the smallest seam in the defense, gets sandwiched by three defenders who incorrectly guess Morant layup, and Ja drops off another no-look dime, this time serving it up to Clark. Despite Euro-stepping and seemingly getting caught up in mid-air with two defenders on him, 
This zip pass from Ja shows off both his hand-eye coordination and what you came to see, his ability to make decisions while in midair. Again playing Mo Bamba, given Morant's already hit several threes in this one, an elusive pump fake forces Bamba to fly over, then watch how Morant starts his drive with track runner-esque footwork, something he often does to gain speed, before lifting off and hanging past Boncaro for the eye candy up and under. This play shows off Jaw's ability to body off defenders around the bucket more than it does his hang time, but watch how far Cole Anthony's push back right here after taking Morant's shoulder, then Ja floats off him for a tough finish in traffic. Any coach would want him to slow it down on this play, but watch how he jump stops, then splits Anthony and Bull for the lefty scoop. Truly defining the word ambidextrous, it's fearless takeoffs to his offhand that make Ja so tricky to stop for anyone placed in front of him. That skill tends to get overlooked when Ja's next points come in the form of ridiculous give-and-go plays like this one, where he flies up the court and has the verticality plus quick reactions to finish a less than ideal lob pass. This is probably the nicest move Morant's pulled off so far, as he pushes it ahead to himself, crosses over to his left, then gets Corey Joseph leaning with an absolutely nasty moving behind the back before cocking it back for the two-handed jam. This time in a weak side isolation, he crosses to his right, momentum crosses through the legs to his left, Smitty dribbles back to his right, Corey Joseph doesn't fall for any of those moves, yet Ja just hangs in the air and floats it over him. A few more of the best plays from Morant so far have come in the form of a catch and one-handed hammer off a Sandy Aldama outlet pass, a jab step and pivot into an off-handed drive, and last but not least, a backdoor lob finish off a Desmond Bain UCLA screen. Over four preseason outings, Morant averaged 23.2 points, 5.2 rebounds, 4.7 assists on 55.8% true shooting and 47.8% shooting from the field. While he only shot 23.1% from three-point range, there were moments where Ja looked extremely comfortable pulling up from deep after his matchup went under the screen. What proves Ja is a once-in-a-generation type slasher is the fact that last season saw him become the first guard to ever lead the league in points in the paint since they started tracking the stat back in 1996. In fact, only four players ever under 6'6 six six have averaged over 10 points in the paint within a season. Zion Williamson, Tony Parker, Russell Westbrook, and now John Morant. His springiness also makes him one of the better board-getting little guys in the association, as he was fourth among point guards in rebounding, only behind Doncic, Westbrook, and Lamelo. Predict Jaws 2022-23 stat line in the comments section. Best answer down below gets next video shoutout, and the top five commenters by December 21st earn free merchandise of their choosing. Today's speaks winners are Hamish S and Matt P. Pause to read their takes along with the honorable mentions. Thanks for watching.